Okay, now our final problem says, on a 60 question exam, the student scored a grade of 85%. Okay, how many questions did the student miss? Okay, it's very important that you understand what this is asking you. 60 question test, student scored a grade of 85%. How many questions did he miss? Don't forget, when you score a grade on a test, uh, 85, 90, 75, whatever you get, it's in terms of a percentage. So you see you've always dealt with percentages all your life. When you get an 85 on a test, that means that out of every 100 questions, you got 85 correct, okay? Now, your test may not have 100 questions. It's just telling you that if it did, you would have gotten 85 correct. It's a way to compare everybody equally, okay? So this problem is not asking how many did you get correct. This problem is saying how many did you miss? So what we have to do is find out how many questions we actually got right and then we subtract that from the number of questions on the test and that will be the number of questions that we actually got wrong. So going back to the basics here, 85% means 85 over 100. Okay, that's what it means. And in terms of a decimal, you move it to the left two spaces. We've been doing this all, all uh, during the entire lesson, 0 0.85. Now, in order to find out how many correct, all we have to do is multiply the total number of questions on the test times how many, the percentage that we got right, which is exactly what your grade is, is how many percent you got right. And the answer we get is going to be the number of correct answers. And then we'll go from there. So let's do it. 5 times 0 gives me 0. 5 times 6 is 30. Okay. I'm going to move along here, so I have to put a zero. Eight times zero gives me zero. Eight times six is 48. And I'm going to add these. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus zero is zero. Three plus eight, starting at eight, nine, 10, 11. Got a one, carry a one. Four plus one is five. So I've got five, one, zero, zero. I need to figure out where to put this decimal. And I have a decimal here with two digits after, so in the final answer I need to have two digits after the decimal. Now notice that these digits after here, uh, after this decimal, are just zero, so what this means is I got 51 questions correct. Because you can ignore any zeros after a decimal point, so I, I got 51 correct. But the question doesn't ask that, it says how many did he miss? So it's a simple thing to to say how many questions did he miss. I take the 60 questions on the test and I subtract the 51 questions that he got correct and that will be how many he missed. So let's do that. What is 61, I'm sorry, what is 60 minus 51? Starting in this column. Zero minus one, I can't really do it so I borrow. I make it a 10, I make him a five, okay? So now what 10 minus one, I think you all know is nine and five minus five is zero, so I don't even have to put him. So f nine questions missed. Okay, so this is really uh, you know useful stuff. Here you have 60 questions on the test. You score a grade of 85, which is 85%, and we multiplied by 85% in terms of the decimal to find out how many questions he got correct, and then after we knew how many he got correct, we subtracted from the number of questions on the test to find how many he actually missed. 